Five years ago, I made a video showing you guys various ways to fix games for Windows Live problem. For some people, it worked like a charm, but for others, it did not, so let's talk about it. Actually, I made two such videos, but I deleted the second one instead of making it private. But I'll get back to that in a minute. There are mainly two problems faced with games for Windows Live. The first one where it says live service may be unavailable and second where it keeps asking us to update games from Windows Live client to play online. For the first problem, there's a simple solution which you can see on the screen right now. You basically need to uninstall everything related to games for Windows Live and do a clean installation again. Link for these will be in the description below. If it still gives you this error, you might need administrator rights and then install everything. You can also use the hidden administrator account which can be activated by using the following code in your command prompt. And yes, don't forget to unblock your game from the firewall. This window comes when you run an unverified program for the first time. It stays in the background so it's easy to miss. But you can always open the firewall settings and allow the programs selectively. Pause the video to see the instructions for the same. Now let's come to the second problem. Here you can see it asks me to update games for Windows Live client. When I say yes, it starts a download and then my game will automatically restart. After some installations, when I come to the login again, it will show me the same message. Resident Evil 5. Do you know why this happens? Well, it's simple. It's because you are using an improperly cracked version of the game, which means you have pirated the game. When I reach that stage on the Steam version, it simply directs me to the menu, while the improperly cracked version shows me this message. Think of it as an anti-piracy measure. Also note that most of the games for Windows Live games on Steam don't normally need games for Windows Live to run them. Here's a list for you to find your game. The released games do use games for Windows Live while the former games no longer use it. Like Resident Evil 5, I had chosen beta version of the game just for demonstration. This is what the game looks like without games for Windows Live and the DLC. Resident Evil 5. And this is the default settings of the game. And as you can see, this default Steam version doesn't ask for any games for Windows Live bullshit. And it says Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition instead, along with other minor changes which you can read by pausing the video. Even though the former games no longer use games for Windows Live, it is recommended that you install everything related to games for Windows Live. On the other hand, the released games would need games for Windows Live to run, like Resident Evil ORC. The good thing is, Steam will even provide a product key for you to link it with your account. That's it for this video, I hope you guys can play your game now. This is Vamdimo signing out.